You're not addicted to junk food because of the chemicals within it. You're addicted because of the pictures you make in your mind. Let me show you how to change that right now. The reason you are addicted to junk food is really because of your feelings. We always try to eat our feelings. The stomach is the seat of all emotions and most feelings start in the stomach. Fear, dread, anxiety, worry. And we learn to push those feelings down. We learn very early to eat our feelings. Our parents say we're going on a long journey. Here's some food. You're having a bad day. Here's some food. You're feeling sad. Here's some food. Or we also get rewarded with food, so our mind becomes very confusing. Food is a cure-all, it makes us feel better, and yet we know it doesn't make us feel better. Many people eat junk food feeling terrible. Why can't I stop, and what's wrong with me, and I just don't wanna eat like this, and I'm making myself ill and unhealthy and unwell and overweight because you are eating your feelings, and you know you never have to do that. And there's a very simple way to change how you eat, and it's called making the picture wrong. You see, here's a fact. You eat something if the picture is right. Vegans can't eat meat. Orthodox Jews don't eat shellfish because they make the picture wrong. If you were going to eat a tangerine or some fresh strawberries, you can have them in the fridge and they had blue mold, all over them and white fuzzy fluff. You couldn't eat them because in that instant, the picture is wrong. If someone spat on your food or sneezed on your food or bled on your food, you couldn't eat it because the picture is completely wrong. If I had in my hand now a big lump of meat, if you're a Hindu, that would be offensive to eat a, an animal a sentient creature would be offensive. If you were a vegan, it'd be like, I could no more eat that than I could eat my pet cat because it's a living animal or a dead animal in that case. But if you're a bodybuilder or you're into keto or paleo, it's like, wow, that's perfect food for me. So it's not the food, it's the pictures you make about the food. And when you can make the picture wrong and you won't eat it anymore, it's a life changer. Here's an example. When you're eating dark chocolate, and it's called Swiss chocolate, can't be Swiss chocolate because sugar cane does not grow in Switzerland. Food manufacturers lie to you all the time. They make the picture. Barn fresh, farm fresh, Swiss is all to make the picture right so that you eat it. Sunny delight. That is the biggest con in the world. It's not sunny. It's not delightful, it doesn't need to go in the fridge. But we call food that's not food, food, in order to make the picture right. And when you make the picture wrong, it's a game changer. I know you know this, I want you to think about a time you've eaten something and had food poisoning. Thought, oh, I could never eat prawns again, I could never eat bananas again, I could never eat undercooked eggs again, because the moment when I was sick, I made the picture wrong. So I want you to think now of something you would really love to not eat anymore. Maybe it's cake, maybe it's sugar, maybe it's fries. And I want you to imagine that food is dyed bright blue. So your fries are bright blue. Your cake is bright blue. The burger is bright, vivid, psychedelic blue. And most of you think, you know, I can't eat something that color. Now imagine it has that white moldy fluff and that green moldy fluff all over it. Really think about this because in making the picture wrong, you start to make your desire to even want that food wrong. When food smells wrong, we can't eat it. When we give food new labels, we can't eat it. I used to be addicted to fizzy drinks particularly the cola type of drinks. And I stopped drinking them by calling them osteoporosis in a can, formaldehyde in a bottle. My dentist told me every time you drink one of those, you start to erode tooth enamel. When I made a picture of Coca-Cola eroding away my tooth enamel with every can I drank, I stopped drinking it overnight. I had to think that thought 
And I also had to realize that it's not really good. And then my cousin, who's an architect, told me that they clean headstones and gravestones and concrete slabs using cola. And that helped me too. So whatever you think, you know, I don't want to eat this. I'm eating these little jelly sweets, jelly beans all the time. We'll make a picture of what they are. They are boiled up animal carcasses. They're boiled up animal skin and hooves and bones and colorants and chemicals. And I was in Spain a little while ago teaching a boot camp and this little girl came up to me and said, is it true that jelly sweets are made up of ponies feet? And I said, yeah, it often is very true. And she took me to see her pony and said, you know, I, I never want to eat those again. When I went back, her mother said, amazingly, the whole class now will not eat jelly sweets because she calls them boiled up ponies feet. And it doesn't have to be right or wrong. It's just something you can do to change the picture in your head. When you call something osteoporosis in a can, boiled up pony's feet, it changes the picture in your head and you cannot eat something if the picture is wrong. That's why you might be able to eat beef, but you don't eat cat or dog or gorilla or elephant because the picture's wrong. You may drink milk from a cow, but not from an Alsatian or a monkey, when in fact monkey milk is probably better for you than cow's milk. But if I say to you, do you want some rat's milk in your coffee? You go, oh, no, that's disgusting. But it's just a picture. Cow's milk is no better. But you see where I'm going with this? You eat if the picture is right. We brainwashed ourselves that cow's milk is good. What about donkey's milk or cat's milk? What's the difference? There isn't a difference. One picture is right and one picture is wrong. And since food companies are way ahead of the game and convince you to eat totally rubbish food by giving it a healthy picture, that's why we have McDonald's Happy Meals and Cadbury's Fun Size, because we think, oh, that's gonna make me happy. We have chocolate called Dream and Heroes and Celebrations and Fun Size. It's all the picture in your head, which you are free to change at any time. Change the picture in your head. It will change the way you eat. It will change your weight, your shape, your size, and your health forever. I've done it. It's been so successful. My little girl was a baby. Many of her friends drank cola, and of course I'd been addicted to it. I was very keen that she didn't want that stuff. So I just took two glasses and I put a filthy, dirty penny in one, and one of her baby tooth in another, and a week later, the filthy penny was sparkling clean, the tooth was black and falling apart. That created such a picture in her mind, and she has never, ever drunk cola, ever. She doesn't even like it. So that's a great example of changing the picture in your head. And if you want to find out more about how to do this, just click below and take a look at my program, Perfect Weight Forever. It will change the way you think about food, talk about food, it will change the pictures in your head, it will change how you eat, what you eat for the rest of your life.